Until Dawn is a game that's full of horror and one of the things we decided to do early on was to take a scientific approach to how scary it was. So we did experiments on people and we measured their responses to the game. We've created a test area. It's as close to a home setup as we can get it. We've recruited ordinary people to play the game and we've left them to play it on their own. You're turning the light off. The only difference is it's rigged with cameras and microphones that relay the data through to the next room where people are watching them play. <laughs> Bracelet here, we use for biometric testing. It measures the player's emotional response. It's called a galvanic response sensor. It makes contact with the user's skin and it measures the electrical conductivity across their skin. It's the same principle as an old-fashioned lie detector. When you're, when you're stressed, you sweat a little, very sensitive, it picks up tiny changes if the player is feeling anxious or scared. That data is fed back to a testing team, it comes through as a graph. I'm so sorry. There's no point testing one or two people, you have to test a lot of people. Okay, watch your step. When we have a scare that consistently has a measurable emotional response, then we knew it was good. If it didn't have that, it goes back to the team for improvement. The data doesn't tell us what's wrong with the scare, it only tells us if it's working or not. Wait, okay, so you hear that too, right? Josh. Here what? we have a chapter relatively early in the game. Weirdly regular. Not, not nothing regular about it. We have to create tension and anxiety in the player so they are ready to, to receive the scare. player time to recover, to cool down, to calm down and then start building the tension again bef before we do the next scare. Hey. Uh, what? Hey. What the hell? Oh, you just got mucked. Yeah, it's such an adrenaline high when I get... There's two things we found. One, one is we could look at the scares, analyse if our expected scares were working effectively. Were people shrieking and covering their hands or were they getting an emotional response from it? And being scientific about it means that we strip out people's opinions about whether things are working or not. We've got data and we look at the data. If it's working, we're happy with it. Really scary. <laughs> but scared and wanting to get away. Um, I actually be maybe a bit scared to play on my own, but... <laughs> In a room with the lights on, yeah, with some other people as well, yeah, maybe. But because I'm a scaredy cat, I would play with someone in the room. <laughs> and the lights on. It was one of the scariest games I've played in a long while.